Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to what's currently an organised mess but what will be my packing for our upcoming trip to Alicante in Spain. I thought I would just sit down this afternoon and get everything packed up and have a little bit of a catch up and a pack with me with you guys as well. You'll have to excuse my appearance, I've got minimal makeup on and I'm in my comfies because packing is just so, so stressful so <laughs> I want it to be as basic and comfortable as I can be to get this stressful ordeal done with. I've left it last minute guys, I've just finished work, it's Thursday evening currently and we are actually off in the morning so everything needs to be done right now. I've got my list, I've got water to get me going, I've got you guys so let's get packed. So we are only actually going for three nights and four days. Uh, we're flying with Ryanair so we've got hand luggage so it, it just makes it a bit trickier with the liquid situation and everything but luckily it was the same when I went to Disneyland Paris so I already had like the mini shampoos and things like that and I'm quite well versed in packing like in a hand luggage case now because if you guys know me you'll know I don't pack lightly. I like to have more than enough clothes and accessories and shoes and everything like that. So we're going to try and keep it minimal. We're going to try and fit everything in. Paisley gets a case as well. So I've got two hand luggage cases to fit all of our stuff in. I'm packing on my bed because I don't have the floor space right now and I just want to get this done with. So these are the cases we're taking. We've got Paisley's American Tourista one, which I absolutely love. We got that when it was on club card deal in Tesco for I think 40 pounds, but it's very sturdy, very nice. Um, it's probably my fave case actually, if I have a fave case. Um, and my Nightmare Before Christmas case, which was from Shop Disney a number of years ago now, but that's a really good case as well. This is all the space we've got to get in all of this stuff, not the trainers, I'm wearing them tomorrow, and this stuff, and some more clove bits that are downstairs. Wish me luck. What I've done in preparation is try and put everything into like groups, if you were. So I've got underwear bags for Paisley and myself, one each with knickers, socks, bras, what have you. I've got my pyjamas and gym wear. There's a gym at our hotel and I am going to try and go whilst we're away. We say, we'll see. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm going to try and go. I've got Paisley's pyjamas here as well. And then I've got this uh, packing cube, which is really nice. I've not got packing cubes down for the clothes. They're just going in as they are. But I've got the packing cube for all of our swimwear. So you'll see I've got all of our swimming costumes in here. I've got like three, because I don't know which ones I want to wear just yet. Paisley's got a good couple. That's the GoPro, if you're wondering what that very strange yellow thing is there. It's the GoPro, so I can film any um, water footage that I want to vlog. We've got Paisley's water shoes for the beach, uh, so her little feet don't get too hot. Her armbands, and I do need to remember to put her goggles in as well. She's got swimming this afternoon in a little while, actually. So um, after that, I'll need to make sure I put the goggles in this swim bag. And while we're talking swimming, I'm also packing a beach towel each for Paisley and I, because I don't know what the situation is. Like, with these types of holidays anymore. Do you take your towel from the room to the beach? There'll be pool towels, no doubt, but what about the beach? So I've packed me and Elsa one, and Paisley a little mermaid one. She'll probably want the Elsa one, so it may well be the other way around, but they're packed in the bag just in case. If we can use the hotel ones, I'd rather that than have to get a soggy old towel home. So I've put the towels in first, just to make like a soft and secure base, I guess, for the cases, and then I'm gonna build up from there. In terms of clothes, I've made us each a pile of like daytime clothes. So um, just like shorts, easy dresses, t-shirts and things. And then evening clothes, because no doubt we'll be going out for dinner. Um, I don't know what else we're doing actually, but I've got Paisley's Billy and Blush dresses. Um, I love this one, how nice is that? But yeah, just some nice ones in case we go out and about of an evening. I've got my day wear which is just like easy uh, play seats and dresses I can chuck on over a bikini for lunch and things and then my nighttime clothes are actually quite difficult they're they're all actually satiny kind of outfits I've got 
this cream dress from H&M. I'll be doing outfits of the day, so I'll share everything then properly. I've got the purple new look one, which I bought for Disneyland Paris and never wore. That deserves a wear because it's very, very pretty. I like it a lot. I've got a misguided, like, t-shirt dress, which is pink satiny material. It's got this nice belt around it to pull in at the waist, and that's really, really lovely. And then a blue flowery play suit under there as well, which may be too hot because it's got kind of long sleeves. But these are going to be tricky to pack because they're going to crease up, so... I don't really know what to do there. Those things, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter anyway. We've been here one time too many. Wonder what will happen next. We both know that this ship's going down. Let's get off and leave before we drown. There's nothing left for us to say. aside from my nighttime wear because I'll put that off till last minute because I'm nervous about it. Next I'm going to do shoes. Uh, luckily because it's like a sunny holiday we're only really taking sandals so we don't need trainers or anything really like that other than the ones that we travel in so they won't take up too much room. We've got just a couple of pairs each. So for Paisley I'm taking her Crocs which she is getting on with really really well. She doesn't like sliders and she doesn't really like um, nice sandals with a buckle over. She finds it uncomfortable. So for around the pool, I'm just taking her Crocs. These will be for evenings where she doesn't have to wear them for long, just when we go out for dinner. And then I've got her pink Skechers sandals as well, which are super comfy. For me, I've just got a black pair of sandals and like a slide on cream pair. These are in the ASOS sale. I'll link them if they're still available, but I'm in love with those. I think they're really cool. What I always do with shoes is literally just like put them down the sides to add protection to the other things within the case. And also because it uses the least amount of space. So I'm just gonna fill up these side gaps. Hopefully I'll fit everything in doing this. Perfect. So both sets of clothes have filled like half a case each and we have half a case left for the um, other bits. So the swim bag, I'm probably gonna try and put in Paisley's case, and then we've got toiletries, which is where I really struggle. So as I say, we flew to France not so long ago. That was with EasyJet. We went from Gatwick and we come back via Charles de Gaulle. And on the way out from London Gatwick, I was allowed all of my liquids together in this big plastic case, and it wasn't an issue at all. In Charles de Gaulle, on the other hand, the lady made me take everything out and put them into like separate little bags like this. Um, so like four items per sandwich bag. So I actually kept those bags and I've already separated it because doing that in the busy security line, it was like four in the morning, it wasn't ideal. So at least now if they asked me to take them out, it's already separated and it's already really, really easy. So this is probably way more toiletries than most people need, but as I say, I'm an overpacker. So just thought I'd show you some of the bits that I like to take. So I've got Jodrant dry shampoo and Express Tan in here. I've got exfoliator, body lotion, razor, shaving cream, and um, like facial pads in this one. All of our toothbrushing things and some cowpole in here. Pseudo cream as well, and Paisley's eczema cream is all in there. Shampoo and conditioner. I'm sure the hotel will have it, but that's just in case. My perfume, which has only got a tiny bit left in there, so I should be able to get rid of that. I'll probably use it all on this trip. And then a bit more shampoo and conditioner that I decanted for Disneyland. My argan oil, more cowpole, sanitizer, and hairspray. I do need to decant some sun cream into these bottles. This one will be probably for me. I know it says it's for kids, but it's just factor 30. And then I'll buy Paisley a big factor 50 either at the airport or at the hotel. Then separated my makeup bag into two. So any powders and brushes and things like that, pencils are all fine in my normal makeup bag. But I've got this here with my moisturizer, foundation, um, primer, anything liquidy is in here. So once I've used it in the morning, I can then move this into there as well. And all of the liquids are then together. 
And then just some standard travelly bits, so plasters, face wipes. I don't need all those cotton buds, I need to just put like a handful in a bag. Handy wipes, so I'm going to put one of them in my handbag, give one for my mum for her handbag as well, just to anti-back the plane and tables and things when we're out and about. Adapters, and then I've got like medicines in here and some hair clips as well. I've got paracetamol, um, jungle formula, bands for the mozzies, lots of toggles for hair. We are also taking a handful of face masks and these are some of the paper ones that I bought for Florida back in February when everything was still like mandatory. We don't actually know whether or not we need these but Sean who did the booking, my mother's partner, got an email earlier today from Ryanair saying they're mandatory on the plane. I don't actually know if that's right because I'm sure people who I've spoken to that have flown there recently haven't had to wear masks on the plane but We've got them just in case and as I say we bought them to Florida in February on like a nine hour flight which was not ideal at all but we did find these paper ones to be much much easier and more breathable than like the nicer material ones. What I would usually do as well is kind of separate it so put half of my clothes in one half in paisleys and mix and match it just in case anything what to go missing but as we're hand luggage only and the cases won't technically be leaving my site fingers crossed we don't run that risk what i have done as well is just put a little bit of sellotape over the tops of these little bottles particularly the blue one because that one feels a bit dodgy like it doesn't want to shut and i don't want any spillages and yes i did learn from that episode of friends where ross's shampoo erupts and his case is like Oh, shampoo explosion! I was only able to find these two European adapters. I'm sure I've got more. I can't find the ones I've took to Paris, so these are some other ones I could find. Rob's got three, and that's just for our iPhone and watches and things, so it should be enough. Electronics-wise, I also have the vlogging stuff, so I don't take a lot. Um, I'm not very profesh, like other vloggers take big cases and stuff of all their bits but I just take bare minimum so I have my charger for the camera, spare battery, spare SD cards and then just like USBs and bits and bobs in there as well that come in handy. I will obviously have our plugs that we're going to use as well like phone charger, watch charger, straighteners, mustn't forget the straighteners, I actually might put a pair in now and use my old pair in the morning because that's always a stressful bit like the last minute things that you can't pack the night before so like makeup and charges they're the things i panic about most what do you guys find most stressful about packing let me know in the comments we've got sun caps so i've just got paisley's harry potter one what's that mark i'm gonna have to wash that and my under armor one i've got a couple of pairs of sunglasses paisley's got a couple of pairs i don't know what's in this one oh they're her little pink ones bless her <laughs> usually i'd have a separate like little backpack or something full of entertainment for the plane but because it's only two hours we don't need that much and i've just got paisley like uh, a drawing pad and some new felt tips some pastel ones which actually look really really nice a normal writing pen and then i've got her ipad here as well and i've downloaded some shows on bbc iplayer and disney plus so plenty there to keep her occupied right everything i think is in i am also going to take just a carrier bag for any wet swimwear and the towels and stuff just in case they are still damp when we travel back so they don't get everything wet but i think we're all in we did it it just about fit it was a bit of a squeeze i've got to weigh them as well i think we're allowed 10 kg i got something like that i need to look on the website but yeah i've just left my makeup bag out there Paisley's bunny because she'll want her tonight and then it'll just be the chargers as well in the morning. I'm going to sort out our travel day outfits and then we've got all the evening jobs to do as well but let me just show you quickly what we're going to wear to the airport. So Paisley's just got some joggers which from misguided kids and then a little crop top as well which will go nicely. These are her sketches I was talking about. I do need to give them a good wipe down in a minute but she likes them a lot because they light up when she steps so they're really good and she says they're super comfy as well so definitely a winner i've got a bow band here because i've got to take a little bit of disney wherever we go this is from magic maker ears and it's gorgeous she'll be nice and comfy and i've just got some um next to active wear cycle shorts a little crop top and my mickey hoodie i need to dig paisley out a cardi as well because it 
probably is going to be chilly in the morning as we're leaving at like 3 a.m but i've just hung that all up there with the cases so we know where everything is and it's all together so i think we're there this evening's job will be weighing these cases making sure they're not far too heavy so it through my handbag making sure there's no liquids nothing that shouldn't be in there doing the housework ready for the house sitters my grandparents kindly come and stay and look after our animals so that's really helpful cleaning them shoes up cleaning that cap up and just going through my list again and again, I always, always have a checklist when I travel, so I can just go through it and I put like an emoji tick next to it just to make sure I definitely, definitely have got everything. I would usually tick as I go because I've been filming, haven't done that, so yeah, if we've forgotten anything, more than likely we can get it there, so never mind. The parents have got our passports because they had them for the online check-in the other day, so if you're thinking, You've mentioned everything, but not a passport. That's why they're with those guys. So I haven't got to worry about those because that's always another one of my mega worries. Like, don't go about the passport. <laughs> yeah, super, super excited to go to Spain tomorrow. Gonna have a lovely time. It's gonna be so sunny, so gorgeous, and just a nice, relaxing, long weekend. I will be vlogging, so keep an eye out for those in the coming weeks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this packing video. If so, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and subscribe for upcoming fun. I'll see you real soon, guys. Bye.